Right, haven't done a video for very long, so I thought I'd do one, and I've got some special gifts. Well, no, I actually paid for them, so they're not really gifts, are they? Um, Gardner SLX 25, and Gardner SLX 30. Now, I'm quite fond of the Gardner poles, specifically, not so much because of the, the carbon fiber, because I think that's basically the same on most poles, the rigidity of all the poles that are carbon fibre are pretty much on par. Um, you might disagree with that, I'm not sure, but um, I like the, the clamps. So you can see the clamps here on the gardeners. Now these, the plastic and the build quality of these clamps is absolutely brilliant. If you open up the clamps, they have a shim built into these, which helps with the... Uh, quality um, you can adjust the clamps here as well let's try and get a bit closer so you can tighten them once they start to wear because you'll find that the clamps after a while I mean this will be after years this will they'll start to wear at this section so to um, to stop them spinning and twisting you can tighten them up or you can repair the pole or buy new poles. <clears throat> so that's why I go for those. I needed slightly longer poles. I've been using a SLX 22 and then CLX 22. The CLX 22 is a lot less rigid. So I would definitely recommend if you can afford it to go for an SLX pole with car full carbon fiber. But I went for the SLX 30 because that's significantly longer than the 22. So some things like skylights and stuff can be quite sat back. So I've gone for an SLX 30 to give me a bit more height on those. Now it's significantly heavier actually as well. So that's something to take into consideration. Even from the SLX 25, it's a lot thinner, the pole to hold, and it's significantly lighter that one is. So if you get in the bigger poles, obviously there's more sections, that's why it's thicker and it's uh, heavier but that is significant weight difference so you bear that in mind in, in deciding what sort of brush you're probably going to put on the end as well and they are not cheap I mean the this pole on its own is probably 400 pounds was it 400 pounds yeah I'm just asking me why <laughs> um so about 400 pounds and then the SLX 25, I think, I mean, that was probably 200, nearly 300 pound that pole as well. So it's not a cheap thing to be into, these garden poles, but they are some of the best poles going. Um, brushes, I'll show you this one, which is the pole, uh, the brushes that we have been using. And this one is, what do we call these ones? So this is a silver brush, but it's the universal, that's it, it's the universal silver brush. Now we was using silver brushes before this, which are even bigger splay on those. So getting used to this was um, was interesting, but we quite like these, these, especially with the blue bristles on the end, because they can help with the brush knocking against the sides of the frames, so that can protect the frames. But also, if you've got something to really scrub off, these are short, harder bristles here. So you can actually press against the glass and you can scrub away. You know, if you've got some bird nests or something like that, that makes it a little bit easier at the sides. Whereas <clears throat> the new brushes I've got, and I didn't get these brushes because they were not in stock, unfortunately. So I probably would have got two of these. But I thought I'd change, I'd do something a bit different. I've bought these brushes, two of these. Now these are the Supreme Medium Soft Brush from Gardeners. So they've got a long bristle length. The splay is pretty good on the glass. Um, so we're going to see how they go. That's very soft style. So I'm going to see how they go. But the problem with those, potentially for us, is we like to clean the sills quite well. And it's not a sill brush. I mean, you can see that it's not going to be as wide as a normal sill brush. So we'll have to see how we work with that one, but probably in the future when things are back in stock, I'll probably go and buy those other sill brushes. Now, the other difference with these brushes is they've got these new sockets on here. 
So on the original old ones, you'd have the brass connectors. And these are notoriously difficult to remove or disconnect the pipe from. Um, you would pr pretty much need um, some boiling hot water to, to get those off. So it's ridiculously difficult to get off if you needed to. So what they've done is they've got these little fittings now. You can see that. So the push fitting. So what happens <coughs> is these now slot into the top. You then use a little tool that they supply which sits on the top and then that twists them and locks them into position. So they look like that. And then what you would have is you'd have obviously your your connector at the top of the pole where your pole hose is going into here and then you would then plug those into there which are push fit fittings so you could release them whenever you needed to and then if this wore down and you need to change that you can buy some new ones <coughs> use the adapter undo it and it comes out and then you could replace them. So I think that's a far better idea from Gardner. So it'd be interesting to see the longevity, if any of this area wears at all, um, how long these particular things last. I mean, they're not brass, they are plastic, so things could potentially break on these. So we'll have to just see how long that they last. Plus, push fit fittings are notoriously difficult once they've been worn in to get stuck, and they're difficult to get out. So it'd be interesting to see if you can get the... Um, the pipe out of there easy enough so we'll have to see but I think it's a good idea um, it just depends on if they last so the other bits I got with this setup which come this morning was obviously the connectors so this is going to be at the top of your pole quite simple your pole hose goes into here these bits go out to your brush so that's self-explanatory um, goosenecks so you've got different goosenecks you can get you can get the carbon fiber ones they're a lot dearer this is the plastic one now you get a shorter one a standard one which is a lot shorter than this the reason we go for the longer goosenecks is because if you've got a sill that's quite deep on a frame with the with the shorter ones you can't quite get enough of the brush into the sill to be able to clean the sill properly like if you've got a sash window or something like that for example so you'll find the pole there and having that extra length um, that helps with that because your brush would be obviously on the end here and then you would have that much length you see so you would be able to get into the sill quite nicely um, obviously there's probably a little bit more weight involved in that. Um, the Gardner goosenecks also have an adjustment here just like the clamping system you would have on the pole so you can undo that and then you can change the angle of the brush easy enough. That is used so much because you can get so many things in the way um, you know, if you're down the side of a conservatory and you get some of those water butts that are maybe in the way where the downpipe is and you're trying to get to the glass behind the water butt. If you want to get to that, sometimes I, I, I do it so it's, so it's almost like this, flat, and then I get the brush behind. Whereas if you was fixed in that position, obviously trying to get behind a water butt with a fixed position like this is going to be really difficult. So you can adjust your, adjust your brush so then your brush is like this. You can do it on the side and then you can get down the side of one of those water butts for example so that's just one of those uses that you can have for that now the hose then on this that you get it comes like this now gardeners stick these on so you can release that and then you can take the whole brush assembly off the top of the pole and separating from the rest of the pole hose so if you wanted to if you had several brushes set set up you could just disconnect there pull the whole brush off <clears throat> so 
see you'd basically be like this. You'd have your brush here, so you could basically pull this whole brush assembly off. Because you would disconnect it. So basically it would be through here. Connected at the top, obviously. You could then disconnect and then pull this whole assembly off of the pole. And then if you had another brush you wanted that's already set up, a different brush for example, so imagine if you had one of these brushes and you thought I want to use this brush now, you could then just get the whole assembly, drop that into the pole, connect it up and off and away you go again instead of having to disconnect the brush part. Or you can still disconnect this brush by pressing this button and then changing your brush at this point. But you're going to have to mess around with the the little connectors at the top to do that. So this idea of gardeners is quite quick. But for me, I'm going to be taking that off and I'm going to be putting a univalve on there. So that's a water saving device. So I can basically pull the hose at the bottom and that will turn the water on and off. So I'll be removing this and putting a univalve on because I don't particularly need to change the brushes that often. And if I do, then I'll probably just take the brush off the front, uh, off the top like that and then stick another brush on. So that's the way that that's set up. So it's a nice setup from gardeners. Well thought of. The hose, you can choose whichever hose you want. Now, the, the actual hose that I got, got delivered like this, this is enough to go all the way up inside each of the poles. So they're, they're, they're made up to the size of the pole that you actually order. Now I've gone, this is, um, this is the orange PU hose. Now this hose is generally for hot water. The reason I've gone for this is because I'm going to be using the univalve with this pole. So it's a bit, a bit more solid, this pole. It's a lot harder than your normal all season weather hose that gardeners do, which is a lot more flexible and soft. And if you've got a univalve on the end and you're pulling the hose all the time, you want a hose that's a lot more stiff. So when you're pulling all the time on it to turn the water on and off, you want to have it, it basically a lot stiffer because then if you've got the other pole hose or something that's a lot more flexible, you might pull that and it might not turn the water off because the, the hose itself is flexing too much. So you want to lose a bit of that flex by having um, some hose like this, which is a lot more stiffer than your normal yellow hose that you get. So that's it. So I am going to have some fun playing with all of these new things. Yes, Alex. 25, not cheap poles, but excellent, excellent clamps. Undo them. Poles slide just like this, then clamp. Next one. And then slide that section up. So that's how they work. They're very smooth action as well on there. They're not hard. You can loosen them as well if you want them to be even lighter. But I think gardeners generally set them up so that they're already set up um, um, so it's kind of the right sort of setting so they're, they're, they're solid and easy to open and close at the same time so I generally I think the, the ones I've had have, I've had for probably about five years and I really haven't changed too many settings on these so they're pretty good life on these other things you get it's just the free gifts really which are the beanie hat but not the beanie hat the baseball cap and then a beanie hat because I bought two so very generous gardeners aren't they I mean a hat for this pole the SLX 30 <laughs> so I got a free hat for buying a 400 pound pole that's very generous gardeners and then I got a beanie hat, a beanie hat for buying an SLX 25. So 300 quid and I got a free beanie hat. <laughs> it's amazing. And funny enough, look, I mean, you can go around cleaning windows, advertising gardeners. <laughs> Maybe gardeners should, uh, you know, do 
printed ones for your own business so I could have my own business name on there that would be something wouldn't it instead of advertising their business <laughs> after I've just spent £700 I'll go and advertise to get them some more money it's quite funny really but anyway that's all of the stuff um, any questions just put them in the description and I'll um, get back to you um, or show anything I missed off or anything like that and uh, I'll have a play with them and if I notice any um, things that um, could be improved then I will uh, upload another video.